What's up, y'all? It's your bro, Big Chop. Yo, if you're anything like me, you make a lot of beats. And sometimes it can be hard to be inspired. Sometimes you have beat block. Sometimes you have to just start your beat making in different ways to just spark something inside of you. A lot of people talk about FL Studios piano roll. I think it is great. But I do think I have an alternative for all my Studio One users. My favorite tools to get over any beat block has to be Studio One's pattern editor and the drum editor. I wanna show y'all how I use this and how I come up with some fire. So I'm gonna draw some cool melodies in and I'm gonna show y'all exactly why I think this competes with FL Studio's piano roll. Let's go, it's your bro Big Cha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and all of that. I got this sound loaded. I'm just gonna play this in the octave. That's just A minor. Um, okay, and if I go to this, this drum view, this is the A minor scale. The beauty of this editor is the fact that it just shows the notes. You know, it doesn't show the outside notes. So that makes it easier, in my opinion. The one kind of issue is that the orientation is wrong, I guess. Uh, it goes down instead of, you know, obviously playing up. Click this editor, and you have to... This is A4, A4 would be up there, G4 would be right below there, F4 would be... I notice this looks uh, like it takes a long time, but you get to, you could save presets. I'm only just doing this just to show y'all how you would want to create this uh, in your own environment, I guess. Another cool thing you could do with this is you could name things, you know? You could do like, this is the one, the root, uh, this would be the third you know uh maybe you want to call these passing notes or or you could just do second third oh that, that's the fifth i accidentally called that if you would want to save this as a preset you could just go store store preset call this a minor test and basically you want to do that just so you don't have to do all of this over again and rearrange it Another thing you could do, which is really cool, is you could switch the colors of every note. Maybe you want this to be, maybe make these blue, uh, maybe make the these ones red, I don't know. Whatever your heart desires, I guess. You can easily create chords. Do some weird shit. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right, that's BS. I don't know what that is, <laughs> what I just created with this. But, you know, I'm just sh trying to show y'all uh, the possibilities. This is this is not the way I would approach it. I'm going to do something. I'm going to show y'all the way I would approach it. But I'm just doing something right now. Okay, another thing you could do is you could convert this into a pattern. I also like working in patterns. This drum editor is cool, but if you didn't notice, uh, it's all the same notes. Uh, you could definitely switch the the length of the notes right here but uh it's 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 a little it's a little annoying so another thing i like to do though i like to convert this into a pattern you would go right click instrument parts then convert part to pattern and now you have patterns this is a cool method also i think because it it's very easy to do the length all you have to do is hold shift and you get this if you hold shift uh, do something like this. I'll keep that on the bottom just so I...
All right. So, you know, that's a lot easier. And with this, you could you could do cool stuff like you get options. I like using this repeat tool sometimes. And what that just does it it will just make everything repeat. Uh, maybe if you want to do something crazy. Then you can use this delay too to to maybe if you want a little bit of a strumming effect rather than it just hitting straight chords you could just do this raise the delay the only thing in my opinion that's kind of annoying about this is the uh, resolution this is on the 16th if you want to use like 32, you could do that, but it kind of, it switches everything right now. It means that you have to, a lot more squares to deal with uh, to make it sound the way you want it, want it to sound. Now it's like, but a, a cool thing you can do with this is that you could switch everyone individually if you wanted to. So uh, maybe you want this to be the 32nd. That's weird as heck. <laughs> okay. One thing I like to do is I like to see what other songs are doing and try to see what notes are being played. I really like using this just for pretty much me melodic reasons. So because of that, um, I like to limit the amount of notes in this. Uh, I have a bunch of presets. Let's see. Uh, mask on. You know, that's a classic. We got the Troy sax. A B D. If you you gotta know that, you gotta know that Troy. I got the itching melody, uh, song cry classic. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all how I would make a beat with this. Now, I it sounds like a bunch of noise, but you can actually really make some cool stuff with this. Let me. Just start making a beat. Check it. Just gonna do a crazy, a little hi hat. Okay. I'm going to create another pattern and I'm going to use one of my presets. I'm going to use this flute, this ABG Neil Vroom. See, the cool thing about this is like you get to rename it whatever you want to rename it. I know this is the neighboring tone. This is the root of the root, the neighboring tone. I know now since this is a neighboring tone, I don't want to sit on this note too long. I want to come down and go back up or go down in this neighboring tone too. Uh, basically just, this is me, I edit, I, I, I put that in it myself, and I just focus mainly on these three notes. Another thing I like to do is just go down and just...
So I want to just double this. Uh, how do I do this easily? Copy. Duplicate pattern. And you can just do something simple. Like maybe on this one, it goes to the, this one. I don't know. Alright y'all, the beat is pretty much done. I could have spent more time on uh, elements on this beat, but I just really just want to shoot this out just to show y'all the process and the concept. Uh, hopefully this can inspire y'all to use the pattern sequencer. It's great for drums, but like I said, it could be dope for just melodies and coming up with melodies and doing something unorthodox that you probably wouldn't do when you're sitting behind your piano or whatnot. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the beat. That's pretty much the beat. Yeah, you already know what to do. BrubbigChop.com. Make sure you download Beats, buy Beats. I got samples, of course. And subscribe. Do, what, do all of that, man. Do all the above. And test this out. Test this theory out. Test this theory out. Let me know. Is this better than FL Studios piano roll? <laughs> uh, yeah, you already know what to do. Bro, big chop. Uh, let's go.